guys, doing something a little different today. I'm going to be talking about what is in my makeup bag. Ah, I have so much stuff. It barely fits in here. I actually have two makeup bags when I travel, <laughs> but I'm going to go through my favorite products that I use when I travel, when I every day routine, and also even how I do my makeup for YouTube. It's exactly the same makeup that I use every single day. So I'm going to go through each one. Uh, these are my favorite products by far. And these are, this is why it's in my daily routine, but I do want to say none of this makeup is sponsored. No company has given me free makeup. This is everything I've bought myself that I use and love and recommend. So none of this is sponsored. So just FYI, but I do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this video and my channel, which is Noble Gold Investments. I'll be right back in 30 seconds. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best performing asset for 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, the Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold IRA or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualifying IRA. Find out more at noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go through all of my favorite makeup that I use on the daily basis. Someone actually recently asked me, they said, Anna, what is your favorite hobby besides talking about Jesus? Well, my favorite hobby besides playing a little golf is makeup. I absolutely love makeup. And by the way, I plan to do a video on my makeup routine, like A to Z, how I do my makeup, because I've gotten some women saying, hey, Anna, can you make a video showing how you're doing your makeup? That one is coming in January, so stay tuned. By the way, if you like this kind of video, please write in the comment section below. Thank you. I love it. Do more. Okay. I love your recommendations, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing them more often. So my favorite brushes, my favorite makeup. Let's jump right into it. Okay. Number one, I rarely use red lipstick, but I do want to talk about my favorite red lip combo that I have on right now. The red lip liner is from Kylie Jenner and it's called Red Velvet. So this red lip liner is called Red Velvet by Kylie Jenner. And I have this beautiful red lipstick on by Mac. And the name of this one is the number is a 79. A79. Love this combo. One of the most beautiful reds. Like I said, I rarely wear red, but when I do, it's this combo. Okay. Next thing I'm going to jump into is my foundation. And just so you know, I actually don't use any primer. What I do have in my makeup bag is coconut oil. This is my little travel size. I put in non-GMO raw coconut oil and I carry this with me. This is actually what I use as my makeup remover. I don't have to spend $50 for makeup remover. Um, I do use a cleanser to cleanse my face, but to keep my skin moisturized, I do use coconut oil. I know there's many people out there that say, why would you use coconut oil? It clogs your pores. Well, for me, it doesn't clog my pores. Thank you, Jesus. And it keeps my skin moisturized because I do have very sensitive skin. So I don't buy any kind of moisturizers or creams because my face will literally turn red and I am very sensitive. So I do use coconut oil, especially under my eyelids, especially when I go to sleep. And that is my routine before I put on makeup. So when I do put on makeup, what I use for my foundation, this is my 2022 favorite that I've been using for, I guess, the past almost seven months. I love the Maybelline Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. It is number 455 that I use. Uh, when my skin is a little bit lighter, I go lighter. When it's a little darker, I go darker. But this is actually the shade that I have on right now. So praise God for that. The next thing I want to jump into is my favorite concealers. Now, this is something I got in my Ipsy bag. And it's by the brand name Koki. And it's called Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. Don't mind my fingers. I have to get my nails done tomorrow. So they're not all, <laughs> they're not all on. Okay, Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. And this is the color SC762 Light. SC762 Light. This is my really go-to. I love this concealer. I, I This is actually my second bottle that I've used. And I've been using it for over a year now. I just love this color. 
By the way, I got a new camera, so we'll be using that very soon, which will have this really cool ability to show products and stuff. But it's kind of different, by the way. I mean, I don't normally do makeup here on this channel. It's my first makeup video. And by the way, I know you ladies have requested for me to do a whole makeup tutorial that I, how I do my makeup. I am going to do that uh, for January. So stay tuned. I will do a makeup tutorial of how I do my makeup. So by God's grace, I learned everything using YouTube. So YouTube has been amazing. So again, this is my foundation that I've been using, my um, a concealer. And I also use shape tape as well for my concealer. I do use shape tape. So I have a little tiny travel uh, shape tape in my makeup bag as well, somewhere deep in there. But I use that as well. So what I use for my bronzer slash, you know, to make that cut on my face is this Sculpting Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I love this thing. Physicians Formula Sculpting Bronzer. I actually use two colors. One is a little lighter, which I use in my everyday. And then one's a little darker that I use for YouTube because I have so many bright lights. If I use something really light, you won't see it. So I go with a darker shade when I do uh, YouTube. So the lighter shade that I use for every day is toffee. The darker sculpting bronzer that I use for YouTube is mocha is mocha. So toffee and mocha, these are so easy. I love it. It comes in a thing like this. So I just go zoop, zoop. And then I use my favorite brush. This is my bronzer brush. You guys, I highly recommend this. This is, this is a gift from my sister. And I, oh, she's like, you need to have this brush. It's amazing. And I absolutely love it. It's by Mascara, M-A-S-K-A-R-A. -A. That's the name of the brand. And I don't know the name of the brush. It doesn't say it on here, but it has a brush tip like this, which I use to wipe in that bronzer. And then this one, you can use it for powder, but what I use this for is my next step, which actually really is after I powder, is Physicians Formula, my powder bronzer. So I use this sculpting bronzer on my cheek here, and I use this end to smudge it in, and then after I powder my face, I'm actually gonna use this Physicians Formula bronzer. Uh, these two are my absolute favorite. I love these two. So this one, is number 6676 it is muru muru butter bronzer and the name of it is bron it just just a, it just says bronzer the one the darker shade i use is called endless summer endless summer so the darker one is endless summer the lighter one is just bronzer 6676 okay so what i do is i take my this side of the brush after i powder my face after i'm done with all my makeup I will go like this, knock off some excess powder, and I will actually shape my face with this lighter bronzer powder. And then the darker one, the endless summer one, I will actually use, I'll go like that, take off the excess powder and I'll use it on my neck. So my neck is a little darker than my face powder. That is what I use. And again, I will do a separate video where I'm actually gonna use all these makeup steps and show you how I do it as well. So this is just really quick overview of what I have in my makeup bag. I will make, and let me know if you want me to make some makeup videos, because this is my first one and I am not an expert makeup person at all. To be honest with you, I um, never knew how to do a makeup until I was about 23. My sister, when I grew up with my sister, she would always do my makeup for when I was in junior high school and in high school, I'd go to, you know, the junior high school prom and different little parties. My sister would do my makeup and she was really, really good with hair and makeup. So I didn't know how to do any makeup until I turned, until I hit my twenties. When she moved away and got married, I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even do an eyebrow for about four years without my sister. I mean, I look at pictures. I'm like, where? Just put on an eyebrow, Anna. Just put on an eyebrow. And I never, I literally didn't even know how to do that. So thank God for YouTube, because that's where I learned to do all my makeup. So this is, again, I'm not a professional. I'm not claiming to be a professional makeup reviewer or anything like that. But these are just products that I use and I've learned to use. And I've just found these are my favorite products. And this is why I have them in my makeup bag. Now, the blush that I love to use is Patrick Ta. This is called She's Passionate. 
It's the uh, Patrick Ta loves color. It's such a beautiful pink. Just love how it looks. I actually didn't even use it today. I actually don't even have any blush on today, but I always use those add a little bit on my cheek a little bit. Wrong brush. I don't have my powder brush, so I'll just use my bronzer one, but it's a really beautiful blush pink color called She's Passionate. Absolutely love it. Now to set my under eyes, I can't go anywhere without this. So this is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Airbrush Flawless Finish in the color fair number one, which is the color fair slash pale. Yeah, because I'm pretty pale. So I love this under eye powder. This is how I set my under eyes. After I do my foundation and my concealer under my eyes, I will actually set this in. The other one that I have in my makeup bag, which I don't have in here right now, is the CoverGirl powder as well. I also use the color Fair. It is a cheaper version of this. It's in the drugstore and it's also really excellent. This is really my main one that I go to, especially when I travel. It really is flawless. It is absolutely beautiful. Next step is my lips. So obviously right now I showed you what I'm wearing now, which is the red lip liner and the red lipstick. But this is my go-to everyday look. In almost all my YouTube videos and any pictures or when I travel, this is my go-to. So I love Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. It's a very natural nude color. I love to use this as my, probably I think my third one already this year. And then this is my absolutely new favorite. I bought this just now for my sister and Pastor Ruth as well, because I just love this. This is, I'm not a big fan of lip plumpers at all. To be honest, I've always, I never liked them. But I absolutely love this lip plumper, how it makes my lips feel. It doesn't really puff it up too much. I just like the, I just, I'm like addicted to that feeling now. I love that feeling on my lip. And the color is absolutely beautiful. I don't even wear lipstick. I just do the Pillow Talk lip liner and then just put on this little lip gloss. Ugh. Okay, here is the name of it. It is by the brand Tarte. Love Tarte. And the name of this one is uh, Maracu. Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. Mar I don't know how I'm pronouncing it right, but Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump by Tarte, the color Primrose. Oh, it's my absolute favorite. This is my every, every day. This is my second one I've gotten already. I'm about to reorder. Ah! And I'm about to reorder some more. Praise God. Okay. Now, when I powder my whole face, love this brush. Absolutely. This is the best, best, best powder brush I've ever tried. Now it's by Scott Barnes. It's number 67 brush. Love Scott Barnes. He's got the most amazing brushes. The powder that I use is by Airspun Original Formula. This is the loose face powder. What I do is when I open up my powder, I get this beautiful brush and I'll take some of the powder. I'll put it on the top part of the powder thing and I'll brush it off and I'll powder my face. I absolutely love how big this powder brush is. It literally, it's so soft. The bristles are so soft and it covers almost my whole face. Just a few little touches. Ah, I love it. I actually had a friend who went to my makeup bag and started using it every day when I was in her, uh, when we were sharing a hotel, she absolutely loves this brush. She goes, what is this? I go, this is the best powder brush on the planet. Ah, it's again, this is not sponsored. No makeup has been given to me. I mean, this is everything I bought myself and I'm, these are my go-to absolute favorite brushes. I just, I feel so soft. I could just powder myself all day. There's something so soothing. So I'm almost done. And actually, uh, really, Quickly, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite YouTube channels to that taught me so much about how to do makeup is Tati on YouTube. Comment if you know who I'm talking about, Tati, T-A-T-I on YouTube. She is so sweet. Her voice is so calming and she showed me how to use makeup. Literally, this is all taught from Tati, so praise God. And actually, I've been praying for her for many years to find Jesus and a few months ago, she announced that she got saved. Hallelujah. God is so good. I'm almost done here. So powder. Next is my eyebrows. What I use for eyebrows is either Scott Barnes. I use his sculpting 
uh, powder set, his bronzer sculpting set. I actually use it on my eyebrows as well. But mostly, about 98% of the time, I will actually use this Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in color medium brown, number 310, medium brown. I love it. I'll first, you know, just brush out my eyebrows and then I will fill it in. And I'll usually, you know, right where your nose kind of, the sides of your nose, that's where it'll stop my brow. And I'll get, I'll show you this all in my tutorial when I do a whole makeup tutorial, but this is my go-to liner. I've tried so many different eyebrows pencils, but this is my favorite one that I use. It's Maybelline. I mean, this is drugstore. You don't have to go super expensive to do nice eyebrows or even nice makeup. Most of my makeup is actually drugstore. My favorite mascara. Ooh, so I love mascara. It's one of my favorite pieces of makeup. The problem is as soon as I do my, my mascara, it'll smudge right underneath. It will smudge right over. And I was so tired of it. When, when I was sent this in my Ipsy bag, which is a makeup subscription bag, it's about $10 a month. I spend every month and I get these little samples of makeup. That's how I actually figured out which makeup I like more than others, which brands I like, which textures, textures, which colors I like, which formulas I like better. Thrive. If you have never tried Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, you are missing out. When you do your eyelashes with this mascara, it doesn't flake. It doesn't fall underneath. It's this really cool formula that will turn into this like, I don't want to say sticky. It's not sticky, but this, this material, it's just so easy to even take it off when you're doing, when you're taking off all your makeup, it comes off so easily. It does not flake. This thing is amazing. These make my lashes look really beautiful. And by the way, I'm wearing fake lashes right now. This is not only the mascara. The lashes I am using are by Ardell Natural Eyelashes. I don't like my eyelashes to look too fake. I like when they're natural. I like when it's you can barely see them um, and you can't tell they're fake. So I love the natural lashes. By the way, what I actually use, my favorite eyelash glue, because I've tried so many of them and I don't like the white one that just kind of sticks and globs. My favorite one is Ardell. Ardell Brush On Lash Adhesive. It's clear. What I do when I put on my lashes is I get my tweezers, these curved tweezers. What I do is, fix my hair real quick. I will take off the eyelash and I will actually hold the eyelash. Actually, let me just show it to you. I will take off the eyelash off this plastic tray. Then, I'll hold it a little less than halfway. Go over here. Almost halfway. I will put on the lash glue with the little brush that's inside. I'll blow on a little bit, let it get a little stickier. And then I will put my eyelash in the center of my eyelid first. And then I will use these guys to stick on the back, stick on the front. And I do it in one step. Cause I used to hate putting on lashes. I would never put on lashes because I was terrible at it and it would take me hours. But now someone gave me this tip about a year ago and said, why don't you hold them in your little tweezers, put on lash glue and put it in the middle of your eye and then glue it on both sides. It'll make it really easy. And it was the best trick hack with makeup I've ever, ever had. So that's how I put on my eyelashes. So again, with eyelashes, I use Ardell all natural. Ardell glue, and then there's my eyelashes. But before I do my eyelashes, actually, what I do is my eyeshadow. But these are the two eyeshadows that are in my makeup bag. Um, I got this one last year on sale on Sephora. It is a limited edition. I try to buy another one of it because I absolutely love it. It's the gingerbread one that has a beautiful, delicious scent. It's gingerbread extra spicy by Too Faced. I think they're sold out because of limited edition. But as you can see, I have went in. And this one just recently broke because I was traveling. But these are some of my absolute favorite colors. I use this all the time. And it smells like gingerbread. It is so good. This is my other favorite one. I actually just ordered a new one. I just got a new one sent to me today because, again, I also always travel and some of the most beautiful colors and some of the, my favorite colors 
cracked and fell out. This is by Marc Jacobs called Iconic. And I absolutely love the colors. There's some neutral colors here, the very matte neutral colors. And then I got some shimmers in here as well. Beautiful gold. Oh, one of my absolute favorite, favorite palettes to do for eyeshadow. Ooh, so pretty. Favorite brushes that I have in my makeup bag that I use to do my eyeshadow. Another Scott Barnes brush. I love this brush. This is number 62. This is perfect to do eyeshadow with. It gets right in the groove of the eyelid. So I'll like take a color, to show you how easy, and I just right in there, right in there. It's just the perfect eyeshadow shading brush. I actually have to get another one. And I went on the website. I, I don't know, does he sell it anymore? I'm not really sure because every time I go on the website, it's not there. So someone let me know, is this sold out? Like, is he not making these again? Because this is my absolute favorite brush. My powder brush by Scott Barnes and my eye shadow brush by him. This is my favorite under eye smudger. I love this brush. This brush is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's called the eye smudger brush. I love how densely packed all the little bristles are. It makes it so easy. It doesn't hurt. There's other brands that when you do your under eye smudge, it, it, it pokes you and it really hurts. I love the bristles on this. It's just really, really soft. So I will take a dark color, tap off the color, and then I'll go right under my eye. And it will make a really nice under eye color. Anyone else open their mouth when doing this? <laughs> so it's just really soft. And this is my favorite under eye smudger. Always do it. Like it just accentuates the eyes. So I love doing an under eye color. My favorite eyeliner that I use, I have so many eyeliners and so many pencil liners, but my favorite, favorite one that I need to get another, I, this is my third one I have now, is by R. Kelly, A-R-A-C-E-L-I Beauty. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I, like I said, I'm not a makeup expert. Color is Night Liquid Eyeliner, color Night. Love Everyone is different. Everyone has their own favorite applicator, favorite tip that you like to use. For me, this is my absolute favorite eyeliner. I have so many other brands that have been sent to me from the Ipsy bag subscription makeup that I, that I pay for every month. And a lot of the eyeliners, I just don't like it. I, they're either too thick or I don't like the formula. This is my favorite formula and favorite applicator for eyeliner. It's so easy to use. I literally just go zoop, done, zoop done. It's super, super easy. I just realized I found in my makeup bag something I forgot to mention with lips. This is my absolute favorite. Besides my Tarte Lip Plumper, I'll either use this one or this one. This is the lip gloss by Fenty Beauty called Fussy. Love this color. It's this beautiful pinky color. Beautiful, beautiful pinky lip gloss. All my videos and all my makeup, I would always use this guy. So gosh, they're both really amazing. Again, not sponsored. Love them. Last but not least found in my makeup bag is my beauty blender. I need to wash this one. It's dirty. Um, I have a few other ones I use as well, but this is my favorite go-to beauty blender. This I will smudge in my concealer and then I will set my concealer with my Charlotte Tilbury or, um, cover girl. So that is what is inside my makeup bag for 2022. I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, the makeup bag that I was using is by Scott Barnes. It's this beautiful pinky see-through makeup bag. This came for free when I placed a large order on his website. Um, but I know you can also purchase it there as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed all of the makeup that I've talked about in my makeup bag. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and put a comment down below so I know to make more of these type of videos. So have a wonderful new year. I pray that it's blessed and joyful and wonderful and perfect in every single way. I bless you in Jesus name.